Hello, welcome to IT Friends Club. And today we are going to talk about enhancing security of the site by disabling some of the HTTP headers. Today we have a lot of technologies that help us create sites, web applications, and we are going to focus today on technology called ASP.NVC. ASP .NET MVC. So our agenda today will be first we will discuss what is HTTP header, second why some of the HTTP headers should be disabled, third which which headers are recommended for disabled, uh, then second sorry fourth which means do we have for disabled and five conclusion. <clears throat> tools that we are going to use. It's only two. Visual Studio 2015 community version and Fiddler. Let's jump and look what are HTTP headers and what role they are playing in HTTP communications. Let's create first project. We'll create uh, ASP.NET web application. We will use ASP.NET web application template and create uh, our project. We'll select MVC uh, and OK. So we're not going to look into the project itself. We know that it is M ASP.NET MVC based application and we are going to look into HTTP protocol and the best tool that can help us analyze HTTP traffic is Fiddler. So let's open this tool. And start our application. We can see that application was started on port 57097. Let's filter all our traffic in Fiddler 57097. This filter tab allows us to filter and display only a request and response re received from this host. Okay. And let's resend request. Wow. We can see request. Okay. And let's open inspector stop and headers. So, what are headers? We can see that uh, among, <clears throat> not only head, we can see uh, that HTTP packet or uh, <clears throat> yeah, HTTP packet contains of several data. One of them are headers, and a part of the packet is the data. And this tool helps us to see the difference between data and between headers. So headers, this tab shows us only headers that are part of HTTP response uh, unless syntax view yeah here we can see only data in our example data are HTTP uh, HTML document retrieved from server but headers show, shows us some system information like which server we are communicating with, which Esplant MVC version we are using, uh, what scripting technology we are using, content lens, and so on. So, why some of the headers are not desired to be 
part of HTTP response. Imagine if some hacker can see this data and it can tell a lot about our application, about our hosting server. And if our hosting provider, for some reason, hasn't installed some patches, required security patches, we are uh, putting our application under risk. So just not allow hacker or any uh, so to prevent our site from any intruder uh, it's better to hide this information and not display it not to uh, put these headers into response so let's look how we can disable those headers and let's go one by one first let's consider XASP.NET version, which tells us what version of ASP.NET we are using. This, to disable this, we need to go to webconfig file and add special attribute called enable version header and put the value to false. Set the value to false. Let's jump into our application and apply this setting. Enable version header inside HTTP runtime node. Let's stop debugging and go to main web config file. Besides main web config file, we have also web config file located in views folder. So not mix them. So let's go to system web node and subnode HTTP runtime here. Enable, sorry, enable version header. <coughs> False. Let's start our application. And see our second request. Second response retrieved from server. You see our XS point version header is now not present. If we compare first request and second response. Request. In response, we don't see this header anymore. So let's apply mm. let's apply code to the remaining headers. And next header will be X powered by. Uh, we need to find system web server node inside this node. We are specifying uh, custom uh, HTTP protocol and under HTTP protocol we should put custom headers inside custom headers we put remove name x powered by we select HTTP protocol and go to our sorry, system web server and we put this section inside system web server and start our application so this is our result request and minus one header this time it is x powered by so let's look into that header x as primitive mvc version to disable this header we need to go to global sx file inside our application web application and disable uh, or specify the value for disable mvc response header into true so 
Oh, let's copy this. Start debugging. Stop debugging, sorry. And go to global SX. Here in application start method, we specify the value of this property. And start. Let's look. So we have fourth request, and we are not able to see X I spinning as a spinet MVC version header this time. Okay, so there is only one header remaining that we need to remove. This her header is server. To remove this header, we need also to go to global sx file and set the property uh, invoke method remove of property headers. Let's go this and do this. Application present request headers. This method should be present or added to global sx file. I don't have this, that's why I copy. And save. Invoke. Let's look into the request. You we don't have the last header. So, if I select the first request and last request and compare, I can see the difference. Here, you see the difference? In latest request, sorry, response, we don't see these headers anymore. That was the, the enhancement applied to our site. Now we became more secure because we are not sending this data to client. We are about to finish our lesson and let's make a short conclusion. We are looked into what is HTTP header this is system information, service information required to communicate with client and server. Uh, what else? We look into why some of the HTTP headers should be disabled. This is for security reason. These are four headers, X SPNet version, X powered by, X SPNet MVC version and server. We looked into means for disable and we used these tools. XSPNet version and X powered by we changed the behavior of these headers in web.config file and XSPNet version MVC version and server header we changed behavior of these headers in global SX file. So that's all. Thank you for watching.